Uh, let's start with uh, America's second favorite uh, sweetheart, uh, Kamala Harris. Uh, according to the Trafalgar Group, 75% of Americans say F- Harris has failed at the southern border. Um, according to the uh, Trafalgar Group, uh, that, uh, that includes 80% of independents, 93.7 Republicans. No surprise there. But surprisingly, 55% of Democrats said she failed there. But when you look at the, uh, at the graph, you'll see that a whopping 12.8% she's excellent and 64 said good. Mm-hmm. Who these people are, they should have to wear a scarlet letter as far yeah. as I'm concerned. She was asked about oh, I know, the, they're uh, wearing a mask. Yeah. Uh, Kamala Harris was asked about the border. Speaking of this story, 54G, roll that. Eight months ago, the president gave you the job of addressing the root causes of migration. But last month, we learned that in the past year, had the highest number of illegal border crossings since they started to be recorded in 1960. What are you doing to turn that around? How long will it take? Well, it's not just hold it for a second. That's such a lame question. (laughs) Good boy. I'm glad you stopped that. Just such a lame question. He has to point out, he has to throw in the root causes. Well, her own staff, as I've told you, and I played you the video. Her own staff, when she was appointed by dummy, (laughs) said she's not only going to get to the root causes, but she was going to go to the border and 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 address the situation at the border, stop the inflow, deal with that problem. How long before she has a nervous cackle? In this interview? Yeah, it's going more along the way. We're going to see that that demented laugh. Let's see. All right, G, go ahead. We can't just flip a switch and make it better. Um, The reality is that we inherited a system, an immigration system, that was deeply broken, and it's requiring us to actually put it back together in terms of creating a fair um, process that is effective and efficient. But on the root causes piece, what we're looking at is that, you know, frankly, people don't want to leave home, George. And when they do, it's for one of two reasons. They're fleeing some kind of harm. Or to stay at home, they just simply cannot satisfy the basic needs of their family. Good Lord. She seems like she really, no, she's really getting down to the yeah. root causes. She's really, all this time, and that's what she's got. I just would one day just love to see uh, little Georgie say, oh, hell no, I quit. I quit. I can't do this anymore. I can't continue to lie for the rest of my life and run cover for these animals. I just don't, they're all such corrupt, disgusting traitors. I'm just waiting for one day for some talking head like that to get up and say, I'm done. I give up. Well, they're not going to do that because most of them who are in the media now come from the Clintons, we're yeah. working for the Clintons as he did. or and make millions. Uh, you know, Chuck Todd working for Schumer. They're all, it's all incestual and all of them. So they, they go from one, you know, that's why they're all, you know, toe the party line half the time. All the time. Yeah. All the time. And yeah. They and never a- relent. The Sanjay Gupta thing where you saw him, like they lied about the ivermectin with Rogan, right? And then... He goes on Rogan. Rogan pins him in a quarter. Your guys lied. Yes, they did. Then he goes on Don Lemon and says, no, I told the truth. And, that's, and they edited the whole Rogan thing. And their little echo chamber was so satisfied with how stupid Rogan is and how brilliant Gupta is. It's, they never stop. 